Hello everyone, haven't been on here in a while. I'm sitting here at work and thinking about something that happened a couple days ago. And it has connections to kind of the overall message of this channel, learning from mistakes and, and thinking about things that could happen and preventing those things from happening. So yesterday, the day before yesterday, I was uh, working and there was a, a kid that ran out of the store that I was working at, uh, where I was doing security at, and I expected to see a parent come right behind him screaming frantically. Didn't happen. Uh, waited for a second. Kid's about two years old, runs across the uh, the main uh, passage in the front of the building uh, where cars go through, and they routinely go through there about 60 or 70 miles an hour um, through a parking lot. Um, not good for, for lots of reasons for that, but no parent came, comes by. Um, I walked out there. There was another person out there that saw the same thing and said, did you just see that? And I said, yeah. And I kind of went after the kid. He ran behind a car and was playing peekaboo. And I walked over to him and kind of motioned for him to come toward me to get him back in the store. And he, he did, he came in the store, didn't really come to me, but just kind of blew past me. Once he got in the store, he, uh, ran in there and ran past a bunch of people, uh, kind of free will and all of it. And then he ran to an aisle, several aisles interior in the store and stopped at a cart with a woman there. And that was the mother. This area that I work in has a lot of, of uh, people from different countries. And I mean, all over the world. It's a, it's a heavy migrant area in the city where I live at. And I went up to her and said, you know, do you know where your son was at? He was outside, he ran past me, he ran out in the parking lot. That could have been dangerous. And she looked at me and said, no English. I really didn't know what to say to that. And I felt like, you know, it's not really an excuse. That's not, it's not. And, and you know, she was looking at, at things on the shelf versus worried about where a kid was in this area. This area is pretty close to uh, the same area where several years ago, there was an individual that lured a four-year-old uh, child. He was a convicted sex offender. He had a pretty significant record for that and, and was a pretty grotesque individual to say the least. He lured this kid and gave him alcohol for whatever reason, and then did, uh, unspeakable things to him and ended up killing him. And his body was found, uh, in a trash pile. Um, when I was an EMT, I transported this individual from one facility to another on pretty much a, a bullshit situation. He really didn't need to go to the hospital, but we were there. We went down there. We knew he was there the entire day and we ended up getting the call to take him when he was discharged from the one place to go to another place. Can't say specifics, can't say his name, but I think that should be enough information to kind of narrow down maybe who it was. I don't know. But when I was looking at her and this kid that ran out, I mean, he could have gotten grabbed. He could have been hit by a car, which would have been tragic. But, um, I thought back to, to, to those events and other situations that I've seen where kids were injured. And a lot of it, a lot of it is preventable. I think it can be prevented. People just choose not to, and they don't do the things they need to do. Um, I went up to her and approached her, uh, again, after, um, some time had passed and I walked toward, you know, to the other side of the store where she was at this point. <clears throat> and, um, the same thing was going on. The kid was just running around the store just not really getting any kind of supervision like he should from his parent. Um, went up to her and approached her and used a translate application on my phone and tried to impart to her the seriousness of what had happened and that that shouldn't happen. Um, she was getting ready to check out. I think she understood due to her facial expressions and, and body language at that point when I actually translated it into the language that she spoke. Um, it's, it's those kinds of things. Just think about what you do and what you allow to happen. And especially if you have kids, what your kids are doing, because someone's going to be there potentially to hurt them. And whether it's a, someone who's driving through a parking lot at 70 miles an hour, drunk or high, or doesn't have a license or doesn't want to stop when they inevitably hit someone, or they do other things that, that aren't 
um, can't, can't be undone. So watch your kids, take care of what you've got. And uh, that's all I've got. It's a short one. Have a good day. Be careful.